Today I want us to look at Mount Zion. You see, when, when it says you have come to Mount Zion, another way to describe it is to say it is the city of the living God. Another way to describe it is to say it is the heavenly Jerusalem. Those are synonyms. But they are synonyms that describe the different characteristics of where you are. In the complete Jewish Bible, more Bible in complete Jewish. This is this is what it says in verse 22. Muka mo verse 22 ibuaya na. On the contrary, irresentente. You have come to Mount Zion. Wena uti le mo tabenya Zioni. That is. E ilingi. Would you see? E ilingi. The city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem. Jerusalem was Lohodim. Now, I want you to see, like I said last week, that Zion is a place of elevation. When we come to Christ, we are elevated in the spirit. You will see what elevation it is. So, here are seven things I want to tell you about this place of elevation. When it says you are in Zion, a place of elevation, what is it? Zion, as a place of elevation, in reality, it speaks of being in the spirit or operating from the spirit, obviously not operating from the flesh. So to be in Zion, you are positioned to operate in the spirit. In other words, you are positioned to be supernatural. Ah, tell your neighbor, I am positioned to be supernatural. Number two, it also means for us to operate in the reality of the rest of the other spiritual realities, in other words, that are mentioned here in the book of uh, 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 Hebrews. The innumerable company of angels. And operate through God or in God. And manifesting Jesus. It means that you are taken to the reality of the rest of these, these things that I've just mentioned. You have to see them as your reality. For you to operate and work with angels, you've got to be in the spirit. For you to talk to God, you've got to be in the spirit. For you to manifest even the power of the blood, you've got to be in the spirit. For you to manifest even the power of the blood, you've got to be in the spirit. Thirdly, the Zion position is a place of elevation in the spirit. It means it is a place of safety. A fortress. A fortress. Yeah, Pimel. 
The Zion position is a place or is a fortress. Psalm 125 verse 1. Salome 125 I want you to read it. I need them to put it there so that you read it. Psalm 125 verse 1. Salome 125 Read it, let me hear you. Those who trust alike which but does what tell your neighbor in Mount Zion I cannot be shaken because Mount Zion is a fortress remember it's a high place in the spirit number four Zion is a place of accurate sight. Accurate sight. Where you are able to see accurately. In the spirit. It is a place in God. Where we see what he sees. What did Jesus say? About God. He said, the son does what? The son does only what he sees the father do. The son only does what he sees the father do. I think it is uh, John chapter 5 Verse 16, somewhere there. So, when you are, when, when you operate in the Zion position, you see what God sees. And when you see what God sees, you only do what the Father does. May you see from your Zion position. In the name of Jesus. Because when you see what the Father sees, that is how you operate as a son. I want to repeat this statement. When you see what the Father sees, then you operate as a son. Number six, Zion is your place of departure. When you operate, you depart from Zion. You operate from the spirit. You know, many years ago, one of my friends, we used to go and... and, and uh, what is this? And teach pastors. So we did that in Malawi. Then he said, I want to take you to a place. And then he took me to Lake Malawi. Lake Malawi. Clear, beautiful water. And there are these guys who take you with a boat. To a small island. And from that island, they cook rice and fish for you. Fresh fish caught in the water. And then after you eat, then they go to the back of the island. It's not very big. Almost the size of this auditorium. Uh, they go to the back. They take dead fish. They threw it on the lake. And then they, 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 they whistle. On the ride, in a, at the distance. No, when you look on your right, there are some very tall trees. And there are eagles there. 
And then when they throw that fish on the water, they make that sound that that sounds exactly like the one made by eagles. From that distance, the eagle can see that there is water. I mean, there is a fish on, on the water. I'm telling you, it's an experience, <coughs> experience. to see that big eagle begin begin to fly fly and pass the fish and go up and take a U turn. When it takes a U turn, it comes like a jet to that fish. It takes it and is gone. Man, there was that that was an experience for me. Why? Because when you read about some of the characteristics of a spiritual man, a spiritual man is like an eagle. Does not sit in low places. Sits in high places. And he's got sight. And knows how to fly. Whenever he comes down to earth. To the level of the flesh. He comes to conquer. Amen. Somebody say, I am am an eagle. I am an eagle. Number seven, Sabusuba. Zion Sioni. is the place where you execute divine authority. It's the place where you operate and you display the authority of God. When you decree, you decree from Zion. When you declare, you declare from Zion. When you rebuke, you rebuke from Zion. When you pray, you pray from Zion. Somebody say, I'm listening. 